Greetings Suburbanites, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. In the last part, we defended Ralston Court and the Pontifex. And got Sacred Stone of Ralston, along with its Sacred Twin Relics. And in this part, I have a few things I need to explain. The biggest one, this is the most important, this is your last chance to stock up on items prior to endgame. Because once you enter our destination, the Black Temple, you will be locked off from the main map. I also like the theme change here, too. It's worth noting. A few other things opened up once we uh, cleared the map as well. Here's M Milkayan Coast. It's only for skirmishes. It's its own map, but it's purely for skirmishes and has no story relevance whatsoever. Uh, and this is like your last chance to do anything like skirmish-wise if you feel like you need to grind at all or want to go somewhere to buy items. This is the place to do it. Oh god, I scrolled over that by accident. I didn't mean to, but... Also, this showed up! The Lagdow Ruins! It's home to the strongest enemies anywhere in the game. There's no point to doing it now, though. Unless you're playing Creature Campaign, which comes at the end, or which you unlock after beating the game. <sighs> so guess what I'm going to have to do once that's over. I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, we're going to enter the armory of Renek. All the things that you want to buy are right here. Holy balls. Okay, buying a few axe reavers. I need those. Um, some silver weapons. Blades, freaking weight. But I don't think you can carry it though because it's an A-rank a weapon. And some regular silver swords. And a silver axe or two. Now for the shop. Thunder, Elfire, Shine, the Vine, Flux, Luna, Men, Recover. Okay, so Recover is the one... I confused Fortify and Recover. Recover heals all HP to an ally in one space. Uh, Fortify heals, I believe it's 10 HP plus your magic stat in a certain radius of units. Like, all units in a certain radius get the effect of Fortify. So what you do is you give it to a unit that has basically capped magic more or less and just make them a massive heal bot and they'll never and no one will ever die. Um I'll fight. Oh no storage is full now! Oh no! I had a feeling this would happen actually. Right. I need to fix that! Take all the crap that has no more uses. God, I'm such a pack rat. Um. Yeah, why not? There's no, there's no point to keeping the hatchet. Uh. I can get rid of one of the demon surgeons. Or I can get rid of both of them, honestly. I don't really care. There we go. I can't sell the hatchet? Are you serious? And I can't sell the <laughs> Well, um... There's only one way to get rid of that, then. It's by dropping it. that now use 
there aren't any more Fog of War maps. Okay. I also need to uh, give the speed, give all the, uh, my stat boosters to someone. Starting with that speed wing, who, who really needs two speed? Ross might, Kyle might. I'm half tempted to giving to give it to you because you started with 15, but now you have 19, so it's not as much of an issue anymore. Uh, you might need it. So many people could use that two points of speed. Ah, fuck. I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Ross. I'm gonna... I don't want to, but it's like, it makes the most sense in my mind. Here we go, now he has 17 speed. Now I can give him a soap again. There you go. Actually, just give him the Worm Slayer. You also want to break out the Dragon Slaying weapons again. Although he probably ended up using the Dragon Axe, but... got a sword reaver, he'll be fine. Where is that dragon axe? Okay. He gets that. Cormac, you get the brave lance. Uh, where's... Rochelle can take Ivaldi. She can take Aura as well. But she's not going to be able to use Ivaldi for a while. Even though she does have that A rank in light magic. I'll make so it happens. Oh my god, what is this? This is disgusting. Level 16, she may not cap magic. We need the Worm Slayer. Uh, I want to give that. That and that. There we go. Um, yeah, let's take Excalibur for now. They might be able to use them in the in endgame chapter if I grind them enough in this next chapter. So um You can take the Dragon Spear. And Seth You get to have that little toy. Frame can have the Axe Reaver. Were there javelins in that shop? Nope, there aren't! Wow! Preparing for endgame does not sell javelins, what the actual fuck? Um. There's a way to port Kyrus that ignores all the monsters. I'll buy three of these 200 gold javelins. <laughs> Hell, I'll buy four. Well, I've burned through most of the money Manzel gave us. Back to Ralston Court, so I can finish this. This one might take me a while, but I don't mind if prep for this takes a while, because I assume I will finish. I intend to finish the game today. I have not uploaded all of Chapter 18 at the time this, has been rec this is being recorded. I still need to finish editing Part 49. Um...
Alright, and I have a body ring and two talisman and a dragon shield. Okay, well, I did say I would give that uh, body ring to Mulder, so for the moment, put the Hoplin Guard away. I don't care if this is a waste of the body ring. I did it. It's his now. Soon it will happen. Who needs some res that doesn't have complete ass for resistance growth? <laughs> um. Here though, take that. Probably should have given that to Seth. Oh well. What he can use though, and I will give him, is the talisman. Yeah, there we go. Um, can you use the room? Yeah, I can. They wreck. <laughs> Give it to him. Some sustain. Why not? And I want to give the other talisman to Josh, but since the Adolma gives him plus five res, I don't know if I should. I think using that logic, I'll give it to Kyle. He has four red. <laughs> uh, what did I take from him? He can't use silver swords. Are you shitting me, game? Only B red. <laughs> I've been focusing on lances for most of this. Okay. Save there. Probably a mistake, but oh well. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll just keep this in. Uh. Oh, he needs. He needed lance. Take one of these. There we go. Right, I was gonna give him the javelin, but. That's what the convoy exists for now. In all honesty, I probably should have given the body ring to Ross, because axes weigh so much. But oh well. Alright, let's go. I think I'm good enough. I hope. According to legend, the sacred stones have sealed evil away from the world. Four of the five stones have been destroyed, leaving only the last stone intact. The last stone must be protected to stave off the Demon King's res restoration. A Fremen company challenged the demon, Darkling Woods. According to legend, the original possessors of the sacred stones defeated the demon king in Darkling Woods. His foul blood seeped into the land, corrupting every seed and every root. The, uh, the once pristine forest was transformed by the flood of disease and venom. Legend says the demon king's corpse lies there still, not dead but dreaming. Dreaming of when the last stone is crushed, and he will rise from his bed of rocks and worms and return to the surface. Deep within darkling woods, the shapen beasts roam in ever growing numbers, as if answering some unheard call. Chapter 20 Darkling Woods. Oh boy, I'm not ready for this. 
Well, there's a reason why I'm not ready for this map, but I'll explain that in a bit. The time grows near. Hold. Huh? What are you doing here, human? You should return to your own kind. This is no place for you to tread. This is darkness's domain. This is desecrated land. That's why I've come. I have the power of the Demon King. I will save us all. You... Evil grips your heart. No. You've given your heart to evil. What a tragedy. Human flesh cannot contain the demon. You cannot control him. You think yourself safe, but already your control slips. I see the madness eating at you. I see the beginning of the end. You're wrong. This... I do this of my own will. I will save Grotto's people. I had a vision. I saw my life traveling two roads. Down when the Demon King conquers both my body and soul. Down there where I mastered the Demon King and of that power. Of that power I avert disaster. I gave the people a better future. I resist the Demon King's attempts to wrest away my will. Uh, I think that vision is part of his plan, dipshit. I saw this and I made my decision. I walked the second row. You fool. The Demon King has blinded you to his true wish. How can you not see it? He's had you since the moment you first held the Dark Stone. He's been hiding within you, luring you deeper into the shadows of his heart. He commands you and makes you to suit his dark design. You're wrong. You think yourself unchanged? You think yourself the master? I see only more evidence that the Demon King commands you now. Can you not sense? It's not true! I... I will save everyone. Think back! Remember! Are you truly the man you used to be? Would you justify war and murder to bring about peace and justice? Remember who you were and tell me if you are still yourself. All this matters not. I know the Demon King has claimed me. It's not important. Not if I can save the world. My own soul is irrelevant. It is as I feared. He will not give up this madness. I am Morva, the Dragon King who guards the entrance to these woods. I do not have the ability to save you. All I can do is destroy the demon that coils around your heart to prevent the further damnation of your soul. I can only grant you eternal sleep. I cannot sleep. I have not yet. There is no taboo I will not break, no sacrifice I will not make. I, you are beyond reason. Therefore, I too must do what I was born to do. As it was in that ancient battle. You will die here, Demon King. This awful darkness. I know, I can feel it too. This is Darkling Woods. It was here the heroes met the Demon King and with the sacred stones defeated him. I've heard the lingering energies of that battle were the source of the monsters. I never imagined it would be as bad as this. It's worse than before. It's grown so much stronger. Simply standing here is a struggle. But we don't need to worry. My father is here. Here. He'll take care of everything. Your father? Over there, on the other side of that swamp is the Black Temple of the Demon King. My father stands guard near it. This is where my father and I have lived for as long as I can remember. I see, so this forest is like a home to you. Uh-huh. My foster father leads the Dragon Tribe. In the last great war, both of my true parents were killed. Morva took me in and raised me as though I were his own child. So that's how you came to live here. My father holds back the monsters that are born in Darkling Woods. He's so strong and so very gentle. One day I hope to be like him. Oh, Mur, what is it? Princess Sarika, Prince of Frame, we're under attack. A horde of those foul beasts headed straight for us. Mur, are you well? If you're ill, we should get you to... No, no, it's nothing. I'll fight with you. I'll fight and we'll drive back the dark children. Oh, harbingers of the night. What sweet noises they make. <laughs> Riev. I'm leaving this to you. As you wish. Please proceed with the rites of resurrection, sire. Guess he won. This is a seize map. You can bring 18 units. But that's more than the last map. You don't get nearly this many for endgame. Fuck it, I'm only bringing 15. I don't care. So it's a seize map. I hope you have a bishop or a lot of light magic. Because if you do, you're pretty much set because the last 
The last maps of the game are pretty much exclusively monsters. Rehab here is the only exception to that. But yeah, solely monsters. All promoted versions of monsters. They're white. These are whites. They're promoted versions of bone walkers. They're not bad, but... They drop... Some drop weapons. More gorgons. So I might want to bring a sword. This motherfucker's got a sword slayer. Which is good against heroes and assassins. More cyclopses. Is a purported version of a mogul. It has an attack called Crimson Eye. Its animation is pretty boss. Not gonna lie to you. Long bow, steel bow, steel bows. Stone and Demon Surge. This one drops the Sword Slayer. This one drops an elixir. Steel blade dropper. Cyclops drops an elixir. Shit loads of health. This way drops a spear. Wow. This skew this dude drops a killing edge. There are some decent drops in this map, thankfully, so. It, it, it's just a random mogul. I hope he has stats. No, he doesn't. He's like the sole not promoted unit on this map. And he's terrible. Good job, game. Riev is back. He's the only human enemy on this map. And he has aura, but he doesn't drop it. So if you wanted it, you needed to kill him in the last map. Here's the actual boss. Morva, leader of the Maniki tribe. He was turned into a Draca zombie by Lion. And he has all the bonuses the Dragonstone gives you. To this, Wretched Air, the breath of a dragon corpse. It decays everything it touches. And what it means by that, is that it ignores your defenses! So that's 38 raw damage it's dealing to you. So have 38 HP or more, or get the fuck out. It is weak to all dragon slaying weapons, and it is weak to all the sacred twin relics. And bishops, due to their slayer skill. Because it is technically a monster. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. I think you want to attack it with magic, because... Even... <laughs> yeah, probably attack with magic, because... He's got 24 defense versus 18 res. Sacred Twin Relics. Everything to damn. I'm keeping Soleil and, uh... I should keep Soleil, at least. Without bringing Ennis. I may want to bring Slay just so it can have a healer. Okay, so... Wait, let me pick him. Shuffle his items around a bit. Let, let me go into this game. Thank you. And the restore staff. Because stone. Uh, I doubt I'll... I doubt I'll have anyone that uses the Tona in my army. There are only two people that can use Fortify, that's Larashal and Mulder, and they're the two people I don't want giving staff experience to. Alright, so... The reason I'm really not looking forward to this map is, uh, it's long! This map right here is the longest map in all of the campaign. And it's not like you can cheese it with flyers, because this dude's more of us just a badass. I should have given him a javelin. That's why I bought three of the damn thing. <laughs> Four of them. What am I doing? Irene, move up here. Josh, here.
I believe in theory I can just have Larachelle just like sit on the forest and and any enemy No any you know, enemy resistance will crumble before her. Because they're 20 free magic. So let's do just that. God, even with... Heck, soon, soon, it happens soon, the Demon King will be restored to all his former glory, and I, his faithful servant, will bask in his radiant power. Then, oh then, I will have my revenge on those who scorned me. The Demon King has created for me a fine weapon, a Draca zombie. This fierce beast and I will guard the Black Temple's entrance. As long as we stand watch, no one will interrupt his rituals. He will drown all who dare approach in this virulent... Pardon. Mud. <laughs> None of them can even reach because they don't have any movement. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, so... Oh. Oh, there's just regular gargoyles. Okay, there we go. That one's dead. We have Cormac sit there and see if we can't kill everyone. Well, these guys are fucked. Until I can use Evaldi. I have seen the animation for Evaldi, but I don't think I've used it, like, ever, because bishops are just too overpowered that they don't even need Evaldi. <laughs> but if I recall correct, the animation for Evaldi is really something special. I don't know if I compare it to Rex Aura, honestly. That's, a, that's like a taboo-ish sort of thing to do, though. Wouldn't it? Because comparing it to Rexor from FE9, like you had so much more to work with in terms of like animations based off of a console instead of a handheld. Gilliam level 7, HP resistance. It's good because all the defense. He has all the defense he needs. He's not gonna cap it. Sure, why not? Probably a bad idea things considered. I should get rid of the other two while I have the chance. I just really wanted to get rid of that duplicate bow. Because yeah, these guys have lances, so... Let's go, Kyle! Oh! Nicely dodged. Even if the Manduins have... I pronounced that right. Oh, Maelduins. Some of the Manduins, oh well. Come on, crit! There we go! Nicely done, Garrick. Fine friend. <sighs> Weapon level increased. Good, now he can use killer bows, I think. You got a steel sword. Yeah, I'm right, you can't use a killer bow. That I don't have. Dance from older. Just blessed con of 13. Thankfully no one's taken any damage yet. So now it's time for someone to get killed. We can't take Cormag. We can also miss. And then crit. Because, you know, that's how the game likes to work with me. <laughs> I'm 
missing all the 80s. You should never miss 80s. With as much consistency as I have. Like, once it starts going down to, like, the 70s, like, really low 70s to, like, low 60s, then you start seeing concerns. Level 5, HP, skill, speed, luck. Then you start probably getting concerned with missing things. Oh, you have a Lance Reaver. You cheeky bastard. It's a unit that Cormac cannot kill. All those male twins. Yeah! That's almost enough to kill it. She just set herself up for the kill. Nice. Unless this dude is the one. Okay. Not to do with the Sword Slayer. I was a little concerned that he was. That was unnecessary, Cormac. Thank you anyway. Antitoxin. I get rid of that as fast as I can. Uh, I don't have any Reaver weapons on Cormac, do I? Oh no, stone! Nah, she's fine. Thankfully for me, that lady is in a perfect position. For me... To do this! Ha-ha! <laughs> Crit, Rochelle, I know you want to- Yeah! There we go! More weapon experience. God, I have to. I'd have to feed her so many kills to get it, though. I'll make this my mission. Looks like I should make Molder HP speed. Oh, yeah. it's 15 strength now because of what I had to do. Because of what I had to do. To get the member and silver cards back. <laughs> Thanks, Mulder. That wasn't needed at all. But I still love you for it. Okay, um. Fuck it, let's go! Yes! Lance Reaver get. God, so many items. I I'm just gonna check Okay, 86, okay. That's the number I wanted it to be on, obviously. Put that which one of you has the sword slayer again? It's you. I don't even think you could damage Gilliam. Even if he wanted to. But I need to keep my, uh... I need to keep the heroes, the Swordmasters, away from me. Uh... I think the Cyclopses have the, like, night animation or sound effect for when they move. Thankfully, there aren't any eyeballs with, uh... Oh, wait, there are. There is a lot of those. Let's to say, there, there aren't any enemies with Shadow Shot in this map. I'm like, there, there's a few.
There you go, Cormag. Wasted use of a Brave Lance? Quite potentially so. Do I care? No. Ow. Thankfully, Kyle now has some stats. And he feels like trumping the weapon triangle today. My poison axe. Cock Lord. How dare you even attempt to bring that over. Wow! Can't double him. Scythe, Sword Slayer, Deep Lens, Rochelle. Goo! More kills for La Rochelle. S rank comes soon, maybe. There's no way that the dude that had the Sword Slayer couldn't reach Gilliam. God. So this is what I mean when this map is massive. Just all the fucking Cyclops reinforcements. I could kill this guy outright with Fimble better, but I get more weapon experience using Elfire twice. The thing. Okay. So two on the first hit, and then four on the second because it was a killing blow, and killing blows with weapons doubles experience weapon experience gain. Oh my god! Oh, it's getting so close. Oh my god! I'm so on edge right now. I really wanted to just have Mulder destroy the world of Excalibur. That he will no longer lose any attack speed. I'm using, by the way. Vulnary. Oh, we need a Vulnary. Except the big convoy. And why not? Okay, so since none of those guys have any uh, sword reaving weapons, time to move out the strike force. Ross doesn't have a sword, he's not part of the strike force. He's not cool enough for it. They got this. Um. What? I knew that guy had Shadow Shot. I was surprised he didn't actually take aim at Carmack, though. I guess he's not programmed to attack unless you get close to the Black Temple. In an effort to prevent you from cheesing the map. I'm sure we'll heal you, Cyrene. So, I can't tell if Cyrene is uh, turning out pretty good, or I'm just really hammering the, the point home that you can beat this game by using anybody. Oh wait, dude, Kyle has a sword, he can be part of the strike force. Bro, let's do this. Pop you on the woods. Uh, steel sword, you lose less, you lose less speed from it. None of those guys are going to make it here anyway. <laughs> oh no, eyeball! You hit him. What you see? Oh god, all the death coils. Um... I keep calling the death coils, they're technically just gargoyles. Right, Slay, you need to move here. Got 
Javelin equipped. Gilliam stand here, hand axe equipped. Josh moved here. Uh, Luke destroyed his eyeball. Uh, yeah, Luke destroyed. Oh. Nope. I just can't wait to show off the Crimson Eye effect. Love that. Love that. Such a good... Such a good animation! I think that's one of the reasons why I like FB8 so much. I just really love most of the animations in this game. I'm sure most of them are borrowed from 6 and 7, but... The ones that they added for this game are just so good. And or hilarious, depending on what they are. Kinda like that one. You really do want magic guys to take on the Cyclops though, because they have like ass loads of defense. Kyle can't double him because he's only got 15 speed. Nope. Crit poke him, Cyrene. Do it! No, you didn't do it. Oh well. The others will move. Lishi is dodging. That's very good. She had so much trouble with that when I first got her because of 15 speed. Knew this would happen. And you get hit by a 37. There, there we go. There's that 10% crit I was looking for. How many fucking turns do I have to go through for you two to get your support going? Too many is the uh, answer. Nah. Sirene hasn't taken any damage from these guys, so... I just let her do that. She can go around without healing. I need to do is focus on these guys. Oh my god, he has a hit percent chance without the sham shear now. I watched him get hit by a 15. This would be a good place to grind some sword ranks. Of course, if I just use a Dolma, they'll all go down instantly, but where's the fun in that? Josh COULD just end his life instantly, he'd only need a 27% chance. Or he needs to proc that 27% crit chance, which he didn't do. Why not? I think the Iron Bow deals more damage... ...than the Short Bow, but whatever. Garrick is now level 5, skill, luck, defense. Wow! The defense is fucking real! Let me check. 5 might, 6 might. Yeah, I was right. I was correct. Well, it's just a kill for Molder! Oh, more S rank! I will get, I will get it. S rank hype. Uh, I gotta put you down. Like 55 to 0. <laughs> like seconds flat. Lorashia level 17. HP. You know, it's not as much of a disappointment when you consider the fact that most of her stats are capped. So. 6 of one, half dozen of another. Uh. She needs to get magic three times in the next three level up though if she wants to if I if she's, if she's going to cap her magic stat, which I don't think. Which could happen! 
I mean, we are talking to 55 here. Then again. She got none of it as a Troubadour, so... I just pop a frame here, give him the axe reaver. Do that. Alright, Tephis, level 5, speed luck. Okay. That's basically what her job is. the dodge tank. I think it's because Kyle has the iron blade that he's being weighed down so much. Oh. God, Cyclops. So bad. Level 7, Kyle. HP strength. He's so top heavy it hurts. gonna keep poking them until they die. Pretty good strategy. 10 out of 10 with strategy again. Oh no. Sirene's actually taking hits now. She needs to get healed. Like, she got hit by a 40 and missed an 84. Panic mode set in now! Holy god. What the hell? I thought that was the reason. It couldn't have been anything else. Alright, so where's Soleil? Guess what you get to do? At least no more of them spawned. I think reinforcements just show up behind you though. After some point. How do they not have enough points for B? at this rate. I'm gonna have to do massive support grinding once the map is over. If I want them to get A rank in time for the final chapter. Cause you can grind for as many supports as you can, or as many support points as you can on any map, you're just limited to one support um, per pair of characters per map. So Cole needs two level ups and two points of HP. Otherwise Morpha will one shot him. I just now noticed this. Actually, where's Seth? Seth will get one shotted by Morva. The think who doesn't? Loot does, Kyle doesn't. Fram doesn't, of course not. Joshua doesn't, Garrick doesn't, Gilliam. I, I. The one thing Gilliam is good for is tanking physical damage. Cyrene actually can tank a shot from more of a. The Rache Rochelle will probably not get hit by more of a. But. Go, Sailor La Rochelle. Let's do this. I want him to get the kill, so... Guess I'm just gonna let Kyle chip. If you can't double him, may as well just let him use the Iron Blade. Tomahawk. Let's rock. This part is 50 minutes and I have not reset yet. 
So Karma, if you're out there, just letting you know. Just want to let you know that's not a challenge. Not a challenge. Uh, Garrick, you get to kill this dude. My God, why does he have 19 defense? What's his defense growth again? Is it? I have it right here. 35. Uh, wow, that's actually really high considering most of the units in this game. That's more the. Oh, I almost said it's more defense than Seth, but that's not true. Seth has a 40. Still, that's a lot! Like, Amelia, I think, has... Yeah, Amelia has 30. And she can become a knight! For crying out loud. That was over sword. There we go. All that, and he didn't die! God, why are the Cyclopses so damn meaty? So much meat, cannot even. Oh well, he's dead. All the kills for Mulder! Because must get S rank. Oh my gosh, he's so close! He is so close! He just needs one more kill and he'll get it! Ah! Oh. I don't like you at all, Vdolfner! Gah! I kinda wanted to have the crit there, that's why I let him use Vdolfner. Um... Frame, sure. Where is Kyle? Oh, he moved already. Never mind. I was like, while we're here, and while I'm on the concept of uh, talking about the ports, I was like, if Ram and Kyle have one, why don't I give, why don't I give them the C rank? It might, it might have B rank by this point. I spent enough turns together. That and their support grows uh, relatively quickly enough. Um, speaking of supports, no, not yet. God damn. Okay, so next time let's play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. We'll continue doing Chapter 20. We're gonna be here for a while, guys. I'll see you all then. Bye, everybody. <laughs>